guys welcome back to my channel I am getting ready to go to Walt Disney World and you guys know that I love me some Disney and so I am bringing you this vlog of our adventures in Disney World now this is the first time that I will be doing this trip with just my son and I but I am bringing a fr friend along but I sure am going to miss my husband um, on this trip because this was sort of our thing to do so you know it is what it is and we have to move on right so I'm really excited to be able to go to Disney World and to continue doing what we love to do and I am going to be bringing you our adventures so I'm going to be traveling about four hours to a place called Milton Florida and I'm going to be staying at a KOA there overnight I wanted to kind of break up the drive because it's about a 10 to 11 hour drive from where I live to Disney World and I just didn't feel like doing it all in one day. So we're going to go about four hours from here and then on Friday morning we're going to wake up early and drive the rest of the way to Fort Wilderness in Orlando, Florida. I have been to Disney World many, many times and I really feel like Fort Wilderness is our second home. I love being there. It's so peaceful it's so beautiful and I love that I am able to bring Stassi and Harper along because it is pet friendly now I have everything packed for them I packed their um, bra frozen food I was out of their true dog I went to get a bag last night I was like oh my goodness this was my last bag uh, while I was in Greece I guess the pet sitter used the last bag and so I didn't realize I was out but no worries because what I did was I called Fort Wilderness, got their address, and Chewy.com is going to be delivering the um, or shipping the True Dog freeze dried, which is what I give them at nighttime, to Fort Wilderness. So I will pick it up when I get there. I have their potty pads um, packed and I have the grooming supplies and that's pretty much it. I just finished packing up all of our stuff so we're ready to go. So we'll see you in a little bit. Hi guys! I'm here driving the RV. We are on our way to a KOA campground in Milton, Florida. This is right outside of Pensacola and we are going to be stopping the night um, to just spend the night and then wake up tomorrow morning to go to Disney. So we are on our way. So my friend Susan is doing the videoing right now because obviously it wouldn't be too safe if I was videoing. But I wanted to show you guys that I do drive this RV and I love it. It is very, very comfortable. Um, but I just didn't want to drive the whole 10 or 11 hours that it would take to get to Disney because then we would have to leave really, really, really early in the morning and who's got time for that, right? So maybe Susan can turn the camera around so that you can see exactly what we are seeing on our drive. We are in Alabama right now and we are getting ready to come upon Mobile. So we're getting ready to go through the Mobile Tunnel and it's really a nice tunnel to go through. At home we have a tunnel and I go through the middle because I don't like going through the tunnel. Our tunnel is small and I just put my hazards on. I go right through the middle and I don't care who has a problem with it. But in Mobile, it's a nice big tunnel and I stay in my lane. So that's really good. Here we are camping at the KOA in Milton, Florida. And here is Stassi and Harbor. So we are in the RV. We're getting ready to take our baths or showers actually with my posh of course and then go to sleep so we can wake up early and head to Orlando the girls were very very good on our trip here to Milton Florida they were angels of course they never said a peep the whole time very very quiet and they just travel so well Stassi what are you doing Say hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go comb her after I take my shower. That way she'll get her little evening groom in before we travel again tomorrow. Say so we'll see you guys in Disney. <laughs> hey, guys. Good morning. I am here at Fort Wilderness, my second home away from home. I love this place. Just everything about it. It's so serene, so pretty. 
so quiet, so peaceful. I'm standing outside here of Pioneer Hall. This is where they do the hoop de doo review. And we also eat at Trails Inn um, here at the campground a lot of mornings because it's just so convenient to be able to eat right here in the campground and then um, go on to wherever we're going for the day. So today we are going to Blizzard Beach and we're gonna have a water park day for a little while and then we're gonna come back to the RV and get ready to go to Hollywood Studios this afternoon. So we have some fast passes this afternoon. We have dinner at the Brown Derby and just lots of stuff planned for this afternoon at Hollywood Studios. So this is the Pioneer Hall. This is where they do the hoop de doo review. If you have not been to the hoop de doo review, it is definitely a must do here at Fort Wilderness in Walt Disney World because it's so fun. It is a dinner show where they do dancing and, um, and singing and they act kind of crazy and funny and then they serve you food while you are um, watching the show. So it's been here for so long. The server this morning was telling us that Pioneer Hall has been here since 1972. So that's a long time. So this building is very, very old. This over here is Trails Inn, which is where we have breakfast most mornings. It has a really, really good breakfast. Um, and then on the weekends, they have a brunch where not only do they have breakfast, but they have fried chicken. They are carving um, turkey and the best homemade fresh carved bacon I have ever eaten. It is so, so good. So if you are ever um, in the area and you want a really good home cooked breakfast, try the Trails Inn over at Fort Wilderness. Um, Pioneer Hall. Over here is Bay Lake. That's where we usually catch the bus. And then what I like about coming here is that we can use our golf cart to just pull up here in this parking lot and go right up to the restaurant and then we can go back to the RV but we are going over to Blizzard Beach so we have to go catch the buses. Typhoon Lagoon, so we are going to spend a few hours in the wave pool and in the lazy river and this place is so nice. I love it here. This is our photographer. <laughs> You'll be on my YouTube channel. This is my second time. <laughs> Everyone here is so nice, obviously. They make your day magical. So I'll just bring you in here. How pretty it is with all of the tropical living the beach life. Yes. So they play nice tropical music in here. It's very lush and green here. So there are two water parks in Disney. They have Typhoon Lagoon and then Blizzard Beach. So this one is themed after a shipwreck. So supposedly, you know, they had this island, which this is what this theming is, and they had shipwreck, and so everything is basically themed on um, the imaginary shipwreck that happened here on this imaginary Typhoon Lagoon. So there's lots of activity going on here. So here is like a little shipwreck and they take pictures. fun here as you can see I love it here we're gonna go get a locker so here is the lazy river and that's what I cannot wait to get into it's pretty long it goes all the way around the whole park 
you're only able to see a little bit of it right here obviously but you get tubes and you go down this and it's just real relaxing there is a bunch of uh, water slides here and then over in the distance right behind those trees is a big big wave pool and those waves get pretty high as a matter of fact they were just telling us that um, they had surfers here that come here to learn to surf or to surf and they do that at night so that is pretty cool so this is where we'll be today Hey guys, we are here at Hollywood Studios and we just Hey guys, we are here at Hollywood Studios and we just stopped for a little snack. So my son has a Mickey pretzel and I am having some popcorn and it's very hot and very good. And we are off to the side and they are just starting the Star Wars stage show and so we have kind of a good view but we're sitting down. First of all, here are some stormtroopers. Looks like they might be getting a snack as well. <sighs> so all in this area is the Star Wars. We just came back from Launch Bay, which had um, all sorts of Star Wars memorabilia and also lots of gift, gift items. Uh, they had real lightsabers and see the star stormtroopers over there and over here in the distance is the show that they're getting ready to come out on stage <laughs> the Brown Derby. This is in Hollywood Studios and this is a two credit dining place. So we get deluxe dining and you get three table service credits and look at this food. Whoever says that Disney food is crap has never eaten at the fabulous Disney dining restaurants before. This is amazing. So this is a, a lobster tail and a filet mignon and it's just amazing uh, with the deluxe dining plan you get one appetizer and you get an entree a dessert and a drink of your choice non-alcoholic but this is our food and so i'm gonna dig in yum